All right, Shalom. First and foremost, like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Shimei and Shai. Want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone at Road Well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Marcus from a train that camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the title for this video will be Don't Forget Why We Do This. All right? Because, you know, we, we could get sidetracked in a lot of things, you know, caught up in a lot of things, you know, like women, money. You know, and nothing wrong with having a woman, nothing wrong with making money, but you know, just don't get too caught up in you know in things in the world. All right, because the scripture say, you know, despite we gonna get all these things, the scripture did say, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. All right, so we're not supposed to forget. Why are we doing this? And the main reason we doing this is for what? Is for our own salvation. We doing this mainly to be saved. Everything else comes after is, is, is a perk for being saved. You know, in, inheriting the kingdom and all the things that come with the kingdom. But the main reason for laboring in this faith, as the scripture says in Hebrews 4, is to enter into that rest, to be saved, to be delivered. All right? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 23. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race, run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. So we're not running that, you know, that we, we you know, we just out here preaching as the scripture said. There's one that teach it and, you know, that it, it not profiting him. What we doing is supposed to profit us also. As the scripture said, we will both save ourselves and them that hear us. So the word is supposed to also profit us. Alright? Verse 25, it says, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Temperate means go back to being self-controlled. So you have to be able to control yourself and be focused on the prize. And the prize is salvation. It says, no, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. It says, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beat the air. When you beat in the air, like in boxing, you know, you're doing your, you're doing your jabs, you know, you're doing your swings, wherever the case is, you know, you do your, you know, your, 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 your dips or, you know, the boxing terms. But when you're, you're making your, your jabs and your hooks, you know, you want to be able to connect. All right? You want to be able to connect. All right? So, like when the guy doing, he bobbing and he weaving, you know, you don't want to be missing all your jobs and all your and all your throws. You want to be able to, you know, to, to connect every time. So when you're connecting every time, you're not, you're not beating the air. You, you're actually hitting your target. And that is how we're supposed to be in this truth. We're not supposed to be as one beating the air. And one beat in the air is a man that doing this work and have no chance of salvation because he doing things contrary to the scriptures and things contrary to receive salvation. All right. So our our ultimate goal in this is to re, is to be saved. All right. Verse 20, 27, It says, "But I keep on my body and bring it into subjection." Lest that by any means, when I have preached unto others, I myself should be a castaway. And we don't want to be a castaway. So we're really doing this to be saved. So don't forget why we do this. Don't forget why we're doing this at all. All right? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. It says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. So we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. It says, Wherefore we labor that whether we be present or absent, we may be accepted of him. And that is the point. We have to be accepted of the Lord. So as it started off, we walk by faith and not by sight. Hey, some of us might be put to death. But by choosing death rather than you know taking the microchip and selling out. That is a sign of faith. So we're walking by faith, knowing that, hey, even if we die for Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh sake, we're going to be risen up and be part of the first fruits. All right? So it says, whether we be absent 
or present, we go be accepted of him. And that is, the, that is the ultimate goal. To be accepted of the Lord Yahaba Shai and to receive salvation. Our ultimate goal in this truth is to receive salvation. All the women, all the land, all the money, all the riches. You know, we being on top of the nations, you know, oppressing Esau and the other nations. All those things are perks in the kingdom. But the main goal is to be saved. We don't want to be destroyed on this side. Our main goal is to be saved. Because to receive any of those things that are just listed out, you have to first be saved. You have to first be saved. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according that he had done, whether it be good or bad. So we have to appear before the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Shai, and we're going to give account for the, the things that we've done, whether it be good or whether it be bad. All right? And at the end of the day, it all goes back to you being saved. All right? When you live the life that Yahweh Shai is laid out, and you live according to the example of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you will be delivered. But if you went adverse to the Lord's setup, you're going to be destroyed. All right? You're not going to receive the prize if it didn't run lawfully. As the scripture said, that he, he must run lawfully. He must, he must do this thing lawfully. All right? You have to do this thing lawfully. All right, you're not you not having scripture said let this man think that he shall um obtain anything. Hey, if you doubting and you if you doubting that you're gonna be saved, you're not gonna receive anything because you doubting. You're supposed to believe in your harbor shemia or shai with all your heart, with all your might. All right. This is um second Peter chapter three verse so that thirteen. It says, nevertheless, we are calling to this promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, so seeing that you look for the things of the kingdom, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So we have to be found without spot and blameless, just like a, a bride, dressed in white, decked out, waiting for the bridegroom to come. That is how we are. We waiting in, in white, waiting for you, how is shy to come? All right, waiting with our candles so that when the bride, when the, when the song of the bridegroom coming, we be there present, waiting for you, how is shy, that we may be accepted of him. Found in peace without spot and blameless. Our ultimate goal is to be saved and to be saved. The scripture said, give diligence, give diligence to make thy calling and election sure. So we have to do the things that please it unto the Lord to be saved. Despite the scripture said all Israel shall be saved. Guess what? Two thirds of Israel are going to be cut off and die. But they're going to come back through the seed of the elect. Hey, and the scripture also said blessed are they that make it into the first resurrection. And we want to be a part of the first resurrection. We want to be a part of the first fruits. Because blessed are they. We don't want to you know, be, you know, be born in the kingdom as children. All right? We want to inherit all things. All right? But to do that, you have to be saved. You have to, you know, be delivered up. You have to be part of the first resurrection. All right? As the scripture said, receive it at the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. So at the end of this thing, we're supposed to receive the salvation of our souls. We want to be saved. This is why we're doing this. This is why we're laboring to receive the salvation of our souls. Right? This is the final precept here. This is um First Thessalonians chapter 5. Five verse 5. It says, Ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. Ye are not of the night nor in darkness. Because as the scripture said, I call you friends and not servants because the servant knew it not the master's will. So the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai made known all things unto us. He gave us the understanding and the times. So therefore he gave us the chance and the hope of salvation to make ourselves ready for the marriage chamber. And if we don't make ourselves ready, then guess what? That is our fault. Because we didn't take heed to his warning. Alright? Because he gave us warning. 
Verse 6, it says, Let us therefore not sleep as to others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep in the night, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For Yahweh Shimei Shai had not appointed us unto wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So the Lord had appointed us to receive salvation and not to wrath. So seeing that the Lord appointed us unto salvation, let us strive for that salvation. This is the reason why we labor and we labor to enter into that rest. We labor to be saved. All right? All the women, the money, everything, all that is just things that, as the scripture said, all this shall be added unto you. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Seek ye first to be saved. All right? That is our ultimate goal. Don't forget, we have to be saved. The Jacob's trouble is coming. The destruction is coming. As the scripture said in, in Peter, when these elements shall burn with fervent heat, that day is coming. Revelation 2 and 10, without faithful unto death. If we don't think about being saved and, and, and suffering the hardship that coming, guess what? A lot of us will fail. So we have to prepare our mind for the hardship that coming to, to, to hope for the salvation from Yahabah Hashem And that is the reason why we're doing this, to be saved. So with that, I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahabah Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and saints. This is Makazah from Trinidad. Come saying Shalom and stay strong.